So Charlie, we've got some feminists here. What do you think of uh, what do you think of feminism? I want them to define the term first because there's no use in me sure, sure. giving thoughts on a ad abstract concept. So. Sure. So, uh, what's, I'm, I'm all yours. what's your sense? How do you define feminism? Feminism is just simply the advocacy of equality, both social, political, economic, on the basis of all genders everywhere. So that's what feminism is to me. Do you concur? I concur. Do you concur? Concurred. Okay. Okay. So you want me to do you, thought do on you that? Do you agree or? with their definition of feminism? Um, she, I mean, that would probably be the most agreed upon definition. Mm. Um, so I do believe in equality under the law, obviously. I believe in equality for representation or enfranchisement to be able to vote, obviously. Um, but you said economic equality. That, that's interesting. Do you think that female models and male models should be paid the same by law? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we should make female actresses and models pay, be paid less because they get they earn about 20 times more than men i think when so you get women to, would get a pay cut you're okay with i think with when that? it comes to creative fields like that it's going to be very difficult to look at it on the basis of like sex or gender how you would pay somebody because that's going to have so many more factors and simply that but if we're talking about equal economic opportunities like for example should like a man and woman doing the exact same position at a corporate office be paid the same if they're doing the same amount of work then well, it yes. depend, depends on what they study depends how long they've been there it depends mm -hmm. if they're equally as good at the job it depends but how all, all else being equal on. i'm saying if all of Hold those on. things are equal can we at least agree they should be yeah, paid that's the already same? that's already the law so you're not allowed to discriminate based on gender or sex based on a law passed in the 1970s right, yeah however what is now being tried to be passed through other movements is to try to swoop in and say regardless of qualifications how often you ask for a raise so i'll ask a question um why why do you think for example the average male it looks as if they earn more than an average woman in a city? Is it because of sexism or other factors? I think sometimes implicit bias can be one factor among many, but like all the things that you mentioned earlier, different qualifications, different yeah. uh, business acumen, skills, um, work output, numbers of hours work could all be things that impact pain. Right. So, the, like so how can you then justify the mindset that people should be paid? First of all, she basically debunked herself by saying that, yeah, first, I want, I think that both male models and female models should be paid the same. This is somebody that sounds smart, but this is somebody that can't actually substantiate their argument, and they're not as wise as they make themselves out to be, because the payment for that is based off of whatever it is that people want to pay for, right? The market is going to dictate your value. So the fact that um, people would prefer to see women uh, as models dictates that they are the ones that capitalize off of it. And this is the reason why you see women strip clubs or OnlyFans and all of that stuff, right? They are going to generate the majority of the revenue because the consumers are determining based off of a capitalistic mindset, meaning that you can't set a set price. You get paid what it is that you earn or you get paid whatever it is the value that the consumer determines that you are. That is determining whether or not these people should get paid as much as they can. So you can't then turn it around and say, well, no, it's based off of your creative ability to be able to monetize off of your audience because then you just went against your very own argument that you just agreed to in the very beginning of this podcast or this particular clip. And then she goes on to say, well, men and women should be paid the same amount, um, you know, based off of them doing the exact same job. No, they should not. Even... Even developers, right? If you look at developers, male men developers and men developers, let's say you have two different developers and they're both males, they don't make the exact same amount because similar to what he just described, it depends on your experience. It depends on whether you're a senior or you're a junior. If y'all doing the exact same job, but then they have to depend on you to do more or whatever, so on and so forth, nothing is going to be completely equal across the board. It's impossible. It's not real. It's not something that we should even be having a conversation about. It is a theory at best. Nothing is going to be completely equal. So we can't sit here and have this conversation acting like everything is equal when it's not. It's like when people say, they come to me and they say, Anti, who would you hire if you had the exact same qualifications and they were the exact same person? That's not real. 
It's not real because the reason why you vet, the reason why you have an interview, the reason why people bring in their experiences, everybody's not going to have the exact same grade averages, the exact same internship, the exact same past, the exact same mindset, talk the exact same way. Like it's, it's not a real thing. So we're going to evaluate you based off of your qualifications and whether or not you're a cultural fit. And that is going to be the determining factor for whether or not you make the type of money that you make. There are fields that women make significantly more than men and they are significantly more successful because they are better qualified and they are better at that particular job. This is this is just the the way that it is. Like nothing is going to be exactly the same across the board. We were all made different for a reason. Studies that like focus on the gaps between men and women like do make make note of these differences. Okay, uh, I act so, no. without using the word woman or womanhood. It's because baby Just sense that's our social conception of womanhood so you, acts in such a way. So Pixie, just can you answer that question without using the word woman or womanhood? It's because basically it would be a functional definition. So as a society, we have an understanding of what woman is. What it's is that? Woman. Yeah, that's basically. I am a man. Well then. <laughs> X, can you elaborate? X, XY chromosomes. Okay, but the problem with that is that I didn't check your chromosomes before coming in here and calling you a man, and you didn't check my chromosomes before coming in here. Or genitals. Or genitals, <laughs> calling me a woman. So let me let me just play this out. So first of all, you can't give me a definition without using the word woman. That's a functional definition. Yeah, sure. Do you okay. know what functional definitions yeah, I, are? I'm, I'm very well aware, and you should have a functional definition for the most important question in civilization, no. right? Well, the point of a functional definition, functional definitions are a definition that is by the function of something. So like, for example, um, no, there's an objective one equals definition. one is like a, like fun one is a function of one. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I, I do. So then can you give me an objective, a functional, utilitarian, any sort of biological definition of what a woman is? Because how, how can we debate feminism if we can't agree what a woman is? I don't, I would even, like, I feel like Pixie's definition absolutely satisfies the definition of what constitutes womanhood, but I would define it only slightly differently, which is that it's a person who performs a set of social roles that are typically associated with, um, with feminine characteristics, but not necessarily, because there are even cis women who fall outside of this, and we still- So you could be a man that perform womanly duties and then be defined as a woman, is that what we're saying right now? So it's not based off of your, your biological makeup. What you were born biologically is based off of whether or not you perform a certain way or you feel a certain way. Did, would, have we devolved so much to where people literally go based off of how they feel to determine what something is? You can't even debate. He's absolutely right. You can't debate, debate something effectively if you can't come to a conclusion as to what a woman is. So we are confused about what a woman is now? consider them women nonetheless like butch lesbians for example are women that exhibit very masculine characteristics but nonetheless society understands them to be women so i find cis to be a very offensive word by the way i don't mm -hmm. know how you feel about the cis, cis i don't men, i don't, th I don't think i don't think i think it's hate speech to be honest i didn't mean to trigger you Brian. As, i would have given a, you a trigger warning before if so i had known. do you think anyone can become a woman yep but not anyone will okay so then at what point do they become a woman it will depend on where they are in their gender transition for the does most it, part. Does it require drugs to become a woman? No. Personally, I think it's a mindset. It's a, it's a spiritual um. energy. It's, it's the vibe that you give off. You know? So becoming, being a woman is based off of your vibes. It's based off of your vibes. This is insane. Listen, this is why my daughter is not allowed to stay on campus when she goes to college. Uh, she is also required to stay in the home because these indoctrination camps and our cultural norms are fried, absolutely positively fried. All of these women are, are giving a different, de different definition of what they identify a woman as. It has nothing to do with how you're biologically born. Has, it, ha it all has to do with your transition, your vibes, how you feel, whether or not you perform womanly duties. That is what defines a woman. This is absolutely insane, bro. You know, like... The, the vibe. Um, before we continue on, I want to just give everyone an opportunity yeah, to sure, answer Charlie. Sure, no, totally fine. To answer Charlie's question, I know you two had already answered. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what is a woman? Starting with you, we'll go around the table. Go ahead. Um, ooh, can you um, skip me? <laughs> 
We'll come back to her. I, I am a woman. That's, yeah. a, that's the best answer. That's the one that Katanji <laughs> Brown Jackson should have given in front of the Senate. So come back to you? Or? Yeah, come back to me. Come back to me. Let me sure, okay. Go ahead. Same. I'm like, I'm a woman. What is know. a woman? <laughs> like, I don't. <laughs> what about you? Can I have you tilt your mic down just yeah, a tad? Of course. Perfect. Go ahead. Right there. Yeah. Um, I'm a woman, um, but I also do think that um, a woman is someone who identifies as a woman. Um, and that's, that's that. I mean, so it's based off of how you identify. That's how you determine that you are a woman is based off of how you identify. It's not based off of any biological makeup. What do we do? What do we identify a tiger as? What do we identify a, a lion is? What? Do, Jesus Christ. Theoretically, it's someone who's born with a womb, but this generation obviously has proven that people, men can turn into women. Proven. Um, so I'm not discluding that, I still think that they should be um, perceived as what they're um, portraying themselves as. But technically, I still think trans girls, they are a version of a man, but they can still be classed as a woman. Which is a hey, listen, I identify as Bernard Arnault, the richest man in the world. I also sometimes identify as a police officer, and so I want to arrest you sometimes when you piss me off. Uh, I identify it. This is dumb. I identify as Batman sometimes, and maybe even Spider-Man while we, while we at it. When are we going to stop letting the prisoners run the insane asylum? This is crazy. These are functioning human beings that are saying this. It's a bit tricky, but yeah, yeah. Molly? Um, I'll say the same answer. I think, I think what constitutes as a woman is the energy that you give off and that you want to put out into the world. <laughs> so if being... A woman or a female is a mindset can your age also be a mindset can you choose to be can you just say I feel 14 which is a classifiable mental condition by the way of in it so I I will say um, yes I know people that act way younger than they actually are and they love acting <laughs> way younger than they actually are and I know people that you know like act way older than they are and they you know and they pride themselves in that and I think okay fair enough so if a 35 year old man claims he's 14 should we have any problem if he wants to have sex with another 14 year old no 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 I'm not saying that no, you should probably should have a problem I think no no I'm not well, saying that they should be able to have sex but but you, they but can, they who's can to say state, he's not 14. I feel 14. Right. They don't have to state that. Okay. Grid one motor summer three be built. Can, is an energy or a feeling that can change. Why would it be wrong for a 35 year old to say he's 14? Therefore, because he's not. But then how is someone who has male parts a woman if he's I not a like woman? I that's two different things. It's why? Different it's a, it's a mindset, isn't it? Time. Your age isn't a mindset. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, but, like, but then why is, why is your sex or your gender a mindset and your because, age isn't? I don't know which one is which one of you could probably well, say, sex, but sex and gender do you agree? is different. Well, I mean, I just you, acknowledge that sex and gender are two separate that, things? So that's what I was going to say. There are zero genders, two sexes, and infinite personalities. Well, okay. Gender okay. doesn't exist. Kill them. Okay. Sex does. So the parts you're born with is who you are. How does gender not exist? It's a, it's a 1960s clinical term largely made out of the Academy of John clinical? Money and Alfred Kinsey and many postmodern child psychiatrists, many of whom, by the way, were not really great people, but we don't have to go into that. But gender is a, a new term of the last 50 or 60 years. So, yeah, but it still exists. But personalities exist. We can agree with that. Proclivities or interests or likes exist. So Do you, by that definition, then you're, if you're a woman or a man, is your energy. It is your personality. <laughs> well, yeah, you're, the, the goal or what used to be the case is the vast, vast, vast majority, 99.9% .9 of all people, their biology and their reality or their, how they viewed their reality, I should say, were in alignment. And now that's not so much the case. So the people are, first of all, there's many elements to this. People are told that they can become something they can't. So they go on a very, very... Um, damaging self-destructive pattern of medical interventions that even if you're pro-trans you have to acknowledge that you know a hysterectomy at age 17 is not exactly an easy surgery. I don't for, think anyone at 17 should be altering their body. Oh, but No I agree. Yeah. Um, it's just it's happening right now at a thousands of young kids across the country are getting 
um, what is called gender affirming care, gender affirming care, but it's irreversible care or damage. surgeries. Both. So puberty blockers and hormone There's blockers. There's thousands of kids that are getting hysterectomies across no, the United States. No, thousands of kids are getting puberty blockers or hormone block or so hormone blockers or puberty blockers. Yeah, Probably even more. You tens could, of thousands. You could stop using and, those. Though, and okay. as far as breast reduction surgery or hysterectomies, we don't know the number, but I'll even say it's probably only a couple dozen. It's probably. Here's the thing. Here, here, here's what it comes down to is that they're so busy trying to argue and debate and base it off of how they feel instead of basing it off of reality and facts. Um, I'm always going to be on the side of F your feelings. I'm going to just use the, the F word instead of using the actual word today. Uh, F your feelings. It's not about how you feel. It's about what the truth is. And the truth is going to be truth. It's not your truth. It's not my truth. The reality is that um, we can't modify it to make us feel better about our circumstances just because you want to identify as something different. It's just a reality. It's how you were born. It's the cars you were dealt. And it's not based off of how you feel. I feel like slapping you upside the head, but that don't mean that it's a good idea. Make sure y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about this whole situation. I'm curious as to what the general sentiment is. Uh, tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. I got a good show lined up for y'all on After Hours tonight. Um, yeah. I'm going to read the comments and I can't wait. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm out.